Alright guys, this is Konani here, and hopefully you guys enjoyed my last couple of commentaries. Today I'll be commentating on an old school game, this is on Lost Temple. And this game will be Oops Reach, very famous player, versus Songun. Um, I think in the very beginnings of pro gaming he was a very strong player, and one of the best. So both these players are very good players. And this is on Lost Temple. This is a very old game. This is back in patch 1.10, where pro gaming was still in its earlier stages, where we did not see as perfect players as we do today. And a lot of the games were based around low economy and micro. Overall, it makes these kind of games a lot more intense than the current types of games that we have. Uh, they're a lot more exciting because it's just so crucial because their macro is not as good that every single unit counts. Reach making his first pylon, sending out a probe scout, looks like he will be scouting in the correct direction. On his first try he will find Songun. Songun going here for the wall in. The probe will be able to get into the base and do some scouting before the wall is complete though. It is always, it is very common to wall in on this map. It's probe doing a little bit of uh, harassment on that SCV right there. Now I was just gonna go around and uh, wait until any type of tech comes out. Oh, looks like we got a gas steal here. Gas steal is a very nice thing to do because basically it forces the Terran to do a double racks, um, at or at least pump marines for a very long time, and it takes them a really long time to kill the assimilator and start gas. So you can really get a good tech advantage by doing a gas steal. It's it's just really hard for Terran because you force them to play you want them to, the way you want them to. I got an SCV over here for Songun. Don't know what it's doing there. And uh, Reach is doing some pretty nice har harassment here. Um, he may be able to get a probe kill here. Now we see a gateway is also going up for Reach. He is getting his assimilator as well. And Pylon, Manor Pylon going up. Really, uh, Reach is playing really gaily right now. But it's really going to help him because uh, when people are doing marine builds like this, um, in, because they're forced to, uh, it's just gonna be even more annoying because it's another thing he has to take out. Ooh, actually a pylon going up for reach, blocking off the wall. He's g he's making a zealot right now, and he's gonna be able to use that zealot to harass, taking out one SCV. That is very crucial early game, especially in these old school type of things. And uh, really, when you force them to do marines, taking out SCVs is really crucial. He did cancel that pylon he made earlier to block the wall. And a proxy barracks has actually been made down here in the middle of the map by Songun. That's actually a really nice move, especially when Reach is spending so many minerals on making manor pylons and uh, making that gas steal. Almost losing the probe there. He wants to keep that alive. Loses the probe right there. Reach losing his probe. And the wall in uh, is now being started. The zealot will not be able to get in. At this point, I am really unclear and unsure. You can see Reach had, uh, he should be starting some bigger tech right now. But because of the proxy barracks, the one that he did not see. Oh, he's going for the SCV right here. And he will get the SCV. Another crucial uh, victory for him. The Manor Pylon will be going down fairly shortly as well. So for Reach, he knows that he's forced his opponent to make many more uh many more uh, marines than normal. Poor SCV got trapped outside, but luckily it managed to get away from the zealots. So Reach knows that his opponent's going to have to be making a lot of marines for quite a while. So that's why he's getting that robotics facility right now very quickly, because he'll be able to use reavers against the marines. However, he does not know about the proxy barracks that Songun has in the middle of the map, so I'm quite interested to see how this will turn out, because this could be a very, very rewarding build for Songun because Reach may not have enough defense to hold it off. First Dragoon out, getting range. Robotics facility is almost about to complete. And uh, we've got about six Marines there at the main base. And now Songun is now pushing out with his uh, Marines down here. He's got five Marines down here at the proxy, and he's got six Marines up here. So that's a total of eleven Marines plus one SUV, 
And uh, two zealots here for reach. He does not want to lose those right now. Robotic support bay is going up. He's got to delay this as much as possible. Almost losing the zealot there. Did not even take out a single marine. And now there's only one dragoon here for defense. This is going to be a very bad position for reach. Reach, I don't know if he's going to be able to defend this. This is going to be very hard. There's three SUVs actually. So uh, we're definitely going to see some offense in Buckreek. Probes being pulled, but they are getting killed before they even do some damage. Not a single marine has been killed yet. And Songun is just... Ter terribly going to get a huge lead right now. Uh, these zealots kill pick off one marine, and these uh, dragoons coming in from the top taking out a couple more marines. Uh, but Reach, no, no matter how many marines he's able to pick off, he's in a horrible position right now. His reaver is not out yet. He does not have any probes. He just lost about five probes, and he's pulling even more probes, losing them. Bunker, offensive bunker being made for stone gun. One side up. Once that is up, it's really going to be almost impossible for Reach to win this game. Reaver is now out. It is going to be taken out by those Marines before any scares are out. Reach, I don't think he has a chance to get back in this game. This is this is probably the worst situation you can be. The bunker is now up. This pylon is now going to go down. And uh, Reach doing anything he can. He's using these two Dragoons to pick off these Marines. So far they've got five kills already. So these are pretty, pretty good Dragoons. They're hero Dragoons, I'd say. He is going to lose that pylon though fairly shortly. And uh, the pylon does go down, so he's not going to have any more units from now. He's just got these two Dragoons, a few probes, and I think he may be making another Reaver. Gas is now up for the Terran. Has not yet make made a factory yet, so he's kind of indicating that he wants to end the game right here. He knows he's got a huge enough lead uh, to be able to end the game right here. Losing a lot of Marines, though. I don't know what happened to his Marine Force. Uh, this Marine, uh, this uh, bunker does not have enough range to pick off these Dragoons, uh, because the Dragoons have range. That one Dragoon has 8 kills right there. Reaver about halfway done. More probes getting sniped. And uh, a total of 15 kills right now for these two Dragoons. These are really good Dragoons. They, uh, um, Reach is just doing a really nice job using these Dragoons uh, to get himself back in the game, even when he's in such a terrible position. You know, lots of players would give up if they were in such a bad position. But Reach is just showing how uh, you, know, you can always get back. Um, his Reaver is now out, getting those... Uh, Songun really has to pick off that off right now before the scarabs get out because once those scarabs are done, these marines are going to get totally exploded all over the place. And two marines go down, the scarab is out. This dragoon with 10 kills is going to get picked off. Uh, a total of 19 kills for both of those dragoons. Really hero dragoons when they are zealots, they must have been very, very good. And now uh, Songun, I don't know what he's been doing, he's really given up his lead. Uh, I mean, it would have been safer for him if he had just started his factory a little bit earlier and not pumped so many marines because he just had such a great advantage uh, that it didn't really matter. But uh, as you can see, he's still pumping marines. He's got five marines queued up there, only now just starting his factory. And he really, I don't know what he was doing. He wasn't aiming for the dragoons that were both in red zone. And I mean, he just really is giving up this game right here. That dragoon has 10 kills now soon to be 11 kills and another marine goes down so sun gun is just uh... looks like he's just suiciding all his marines now really not good and uh... reach actually has a pretty nice chance to get back in this game because uh... he's got that reaver now and if he can do some damage with that reaver he will be able to get back in this game sun gun immediately really realizes his mistake shuttle is almost done uh, Songun realizes his mistake. He's getting another factory, and he's also getting a starport for a wraith, which can take out the shuttle and the reaver. Unfortunately for him, the shuttle is already out, and his starport is not even 50% complete yet. So Songun is in a very horrible position. I have no idea why and how he lost that huge lead he had. Uh, those dragoons taking out 19 marines, really huge, but it was really really bad play there and uh, here comes the shuttle there's no defense over here uh, there's a bunker but I don't think there's any marines in here and the first scarab shot goes out oh takes tons of marines out and uh, you can see when the reaver is close to the minerals like that they can actually shoot through the minerals and now that reaver has killed a ton of SCVs uh, Songun's economy is crippled and he is taking huge losses here I do not think he's gonna be able to get back in this game he's lost his lead he's pretty much thrown away this game so right now, Song, uh, Song Gun looking in terrible position. Uh, three Dragoons over here for uh, for Reach. And Reach, really, he's had 
really good economy now, and this Reaver coming in to pick off the remaining SCVs. Stone Gun, just not going to be able to come back from this. He had a huge, huge advantage. Major damage uh, was dealt by his proxy barracks, which is a very nice uh, tactical decision. But uh, he really didn't follow through correctly. And now the Wraith is out. But this Reaver with 31 kills, uh, soon to be 32, 32 kills on that Reaver. That Reaver has really brought Reach back in the game because of uh, Stone Gun's failure. And really, this Dragoon is going to be able to pick off the rest. Wraith kills the Reaver finally. But uh, there's only one lone SCV for Stone Gun. Uh, what a sad SCV. He's all alone. All his friends are dead. And Stone Gun does concede. GG. Uh, one of the best comebacks I've seen.